Evening gang. So uh, we're going to do an interesting video tonight. And if everything goes right, it's going to go up on both Facebook and on YouTube. But I admit um, that it's definitely going to be long. We're going to keep this going. I'm going to segment this into parts if I have to. And it will go up on YouTube and it will be shared on Facebook. Meaning for my friends, um, if anybody cares to watch it. Which I'm not a... My YouTube account is not as big as a lot of other people. I don't have a lot of subscribers. Uh, a lot of people probably uh, don't... They probably wouldn't mind hearing my opinion on some stuff because a lot of what I have to say is some of the same stuff that other people that have big big YouTube accounts like the quartering um, yellow flash um, uh, those are two of the big names that I think of uh, hero hey and um, a few others they have some similar opinions but more specific uh, whereby uh, flash and um, the quartering tend to follow more about comic books and other things in the industry than some of the other folks that I know. So I tend to follow them a little more closely. Uh, closely. Now, uh, geeks and gamers, uh, they tend to follow some of the stuff too, but um, I tend to follow the first two a lot more. And those are the folks that are closely watching some of the changes that are coming up in Marvel. And Marvel's the big one, folks. Marvel's the big one. So... Um, they're the ones that are really trying to stir the pot and not in a good way this ain't no stew we're making here folks this is bad this is some bad this is some bad voodoo witch doctor uh, witches brew like something out of uh, Shakespeare's um, oh gosh I can't even remember the name right now oh gosh I had it in my head for a second but um, if I remember which when I'm not thinking about it I will remember I'll say what the name of the Shakespeare play is that has the three witches in it. I just cannot really think about it right now. Um, but the thing is, is that this is this is not a pot like the melting pot that is the United States. Um, this is not a pot of uh, good old fashioned gumbo. This is this is bad crap. This is this is some bad crap we're talking about here, and um, they're not stirring the pot. I think um, to do anything more than. Uh, prop up an agenda that is popping up in this country now if you're somebody who's gonna come on to my page and complain and be um, totally uh, feminist meaning let me define that meaning that you're going to take anything I say about women and try to turn it around on me and claim that I'm blah 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 whatever you're feminist agenda thing tells you to tell people like me you go ahead knock yourself out because it don't change what I got to say and it doesn't change the fact that the First Amendment allows me the rights to say it and if you don't like that you're more than able to get off your butt get a plane ticket to somewhere else and go there don't feel obligated to come back we probably don't want you here this country's messed up enough as it is with people shooting up people at Walmarts and doing all kinds of other crap and trying to bomb the crap out of each other. And we got more with our terrorists that are in the United States that are white people um, that are young and um, just, I don't know what foolishness got into their head, but, you know, you find that most of these killers, as of late, tend to be younger people. And the thing is, is that we got some serious problems with terrorism in this country, and we don't need the people from outside of the country to mess it up. Because the in, the people inside, they do a fun job as it is. We don't we don't need help from it, nobody outside. If you are watching this and you are from outside our country and you're thinking about coming in and doing something, don't even bother. Just sit back with your bag of popcorn and watch. You don't have to do nothing. The wackos in this country are going to take care of messing up this country long before you even get a plan going to come over and do crazy things. Why would you want to come over and bomb this place? You don't have to. We're going to be like the fall of Rome here eventually. We're just going to cave in on ourselves. We're going to start having our own internal wars and all kinds of other battles and stuff like this. And if it ain't battles with weapons and stuff, it's going to be with words and agendas and activism and all this stuff now if you're one of my usual YouTube 
followers. This video is going to be playing out me <clears throat> ranting about stuff. Um, don't expect to see anything really fancy with this video. Um, it, it's uh, and I respect what other people do. The quartering and uh, the flash, they tend to put stuff right up on their screens, on their computers, so that you can see what the heck they're talking about. I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> this is a good old fashioned the way it was before we had computers and maybe um, it was it's not as old fashioned like what we used to hear on the radio but we're talking Paul Harvey that kind of stuff where this is going to be an old fashioned uh, kind of way and to be honest I probably would have done good to just have a video where you guys just saw some kind of image and then just hear me talk instead of actually um, having to see me but hey I'm doing this on the fly this is not pre-planned this is coming after me watching YouTube videos over the last little while and a lot of people are going to come out there and say oh you're one of those people that are going to be into watching clickbait no 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 these people that I'm watching are more reliable than your news that's right the people that are on the news suck even some of the local people seem like they're in the pocket of big government. They only they only spout out the propaganda that you got during Obama's reign. Seems like they never left. Oh, we hate Trump. Oh, that's what we're paid to do. We're paid to say we hate Trump. We're not paid to do anything but that. And the thing is, is that we're going to keep spewing the propaganda as long as the parent company tells us we have to. Great. We've become a country where... You basically um, can uh, kind of blackmail us into having to say whatever crap people that are making the money want us to say. But you know what? Trump's the president. He's got a buttload of money. I don't see him out there bribing people and extorting people and trying to do stuff to make them say his stuff. Seems like a lot of people just want to say, hey, we're behind Trump. We're behind the fact that he's making jobs. That... He doesn't want the terrorists to be in here. Hey, look, with the last president, when Obama was around, we gave the millions of dollars to the people that were harboring terrorists. Now, under Trump, we're not. Does anybody see a problem with this? The old president said, let's give millions of dollars to them in hopes that it would keep them off our backs. And the current president is saying, no, we're not going to do that. And in a sense, things are better now. Like I said, we got a lot of local crap going on but as far as people coming over from there and doing bad things over here you don't really see that as much anymore it's almost like it's I don't know working and that's just an example and the thing is is that we're not here to talk about uh, politics and all this stuff but why is it important to what I want to talk about which is the direction that uh, Disney and the comic book industry meaning Disney the big overlord that tells Marvel what to do and if Marvel thinks they're still in charge apparently they're not or basically the idea is is hey let's say Disney is parent company A and Marvel is little side company B what's the best way to make sure that your parent company is happy well it's to hire people that follow the same agenda as your parent company and there's where the problem is now what does that have to do with politics and all the stuff going on in the world quite a bit because this is what I'm seeing right now I'm seeing that we have a country where you take a little thing like comic books that we used to use comic books remember when Captain America was first brought in we used to use that to give people hope in this country we used to use the comic books as a way to basically be like, hey, we're gonna, we got Captain America, he's going to slug out Hitler, and he's going to... It was something for the people during World War II to basically be happy about the country they served. Now what do we have? Comic books full of anti-Jewish propaganda. And I'm going to tell you right now, starting with that, I am not going to come up here and put this... I'm not going to find all this evidence for you and put it out. <clears throat> if you don't believe what I got to say, then go somewhere else. I don't care. You can find plenty of evidence out there on YouTube and on the internet. I am not going to put all this stuff up. That's not what I'm here about. 
I am here to take what people from like the quartering and flash and a lot of other people out there on YouTube have already done before us now a lot of people are gonna say oh you believe in all oh, those people oh they're hate mongers and oh they're racist and oh they're bigots and uh, 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 uh. you know what I want you to think of this especially as I'm talking tonight do you have you ever seen my face before have you ever seen it come up to you and tell you you can't have your own opinion no? Okay then. I feel that you should do me the same privilege. If I haven't come up there and stopped you from having your First Amendment rights, isn't it, you know, just fair that I have my own? So if you don't like this, you can beat it. But I'm going to say what I'm going to say because it's just, it's gotten ridiculous. The comic industry and the movie industry, but mostly the movie industry having to do with comic books is what we're going to talk about here has gone down the crapper in the last couple of, well, decades even, but in particular the last couple of years. And why is that? Well, and why am I even talking about this, you might be asking. Well, I just watched a video from The Quartering about Marvel hiring another woman, and the fact that she's a woman isn't the problem. The problem is just that she's a raving feminist from what it looks like. And she's doing some very suspicious things like deleting massive amounts of her tweets and basically having a big old trash fire to hide all the evidence. That's what it looks like. So much so that the quartering guy was showing stuff from an article where the guy was like, WTF, what's going on? Because the thing is, is it's like, that looks mighty suspicious. And it's like, well, apparently if you believe what he's showing and he's showing it in black and white right from the internet mm, excuse me um we got another woman that hates white men that hates white men that hates white men probably in their middle age meaning in their 40s anywhere between 30 and 40 probably now 30 isn't really middle age you tend to be more 40 to 50 but 40 is the major crossroad because when you're 30 really not the middle of the way yet and when you're 50 you've kind of passed over and you've gone a fair distance on your travel through life so the thing is is that 40 tends to be the magic number what all I, I'm gonna admit to you right now I'm a white guy and I'm almost 40 but you know what I've been collecting comics since before I was 40 and that's what's important here so I've been collecting comics for a long time which means a lot of people out there are going to say, oh, that just means you're stuck in your ways. You, you're you only complaining about this because you don't like change. Well, here's what I think about change. Change is good sometimes. Change is sometimes a positive thing. I don't believe in the idea of evolution because I'm a Christian. So I don't believe that things evolve. But I believe we can adapt. I believe that all people can adapt. And there are certain things we can adapt to. The problem is that we're not adapting. We're compromising now. And how are we compromising? Well, we've decided that we're going to compromise on, hey, women are more important than men now. Don't believe me? Go take a good look at what's going on, especially if you look on Disney. I dare you to look on Disney and tell me that they're not pushing an agenda that says women are more important than men. Now, why am I having this conversation with you guys? This is the pinnacle. This is the crux that basically ties everything in together. And I want you to get me on this. We're going to have a discussion. And I use the term discussion loosely because it's just me here. About how the industry, the comic industry, and now the movie industry, particularly with Disney leading the charge, is saying, well, you know what, people? We want the people that watch comic book movies and watch comic book shows and people that read comic books to come to our movies but guess what we're not gonna do movies to whatever term you want to use pander or I like the term better you know make customers happy I like that way of saying it we're not gonna try to make the customers happy anymore Apparently the new thought is, is how can we piss them off? And boy, Disney's got the game plan for that. 